Good morning, good morning. Look at all of this beautiful, beautiful Jamaican sorrel. Red roselle, hibiscus. It goes by a lot of different names, but it is all one in the same. Beautiful plant superfood whatever you want to call it this is my beautiful roselle plant that i grew and i'm so happy to share it with you i have blooms of all different sizes um, as you can see on this plant but most of them are ready to harvest and i am ready to harvest them <laughs> as you can see this plant is full like just loaded with hibiscus loaded loaded look at that this is about the size right here where you want to harvest them so i just wanted to share them in the morning like now it's a little early but these are the blooms in a couple of hours as the sun comes all the way out those blooms will be opened and beautiful popping just wanted to share my plant with you as I harvest I'm gonna get started and see exactly how much um, that I can gather this morning and um, then I will share that with you as well be back in a moment Look at this, you guys. I'm getting like swallowed in with all of the Jamaican sorrel. I have so many blooms. This is such a beautiful, beautiful plant. <clears throat> I wish you all could just see these blooms um, close up if you're not growing it yourself. If you are growing it yourself, then you know exactly what I mean. Um, just a few things about this plant that um, I have noticed because this is my first time growing it. But... Um, as I'm standing here, like literally in the bush, I don't notice any um, fragrance that like stands out to me. Um, you know, like when the wind blows with some plants or bushes, um, you can notice the scent of the fragrance that it uh, lets off. But with this plant, um, I don't notice any um, strong fragrance, fragrance or anything. Even if you get close and you smell the um, blooms or the flowers themselves, like um, right here. Yeah, like my nose is right up on it. I don't smell anything um, pungent or anything, but it's just beautiful. <laughs> it's just a beautiful plant. Beautiful color. These um, callets. Um, if they call them, I call them buds, but they're called calyx. Um, they feel really <laughs> unique. Like they don't feel real almost. They kind of feel like they're plastic or um, rubbery. Um, but I'm getting a good amount of them off of this bush. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting a good amount of them off this bush. And I'm harvesting the ones that are opening up the buds that have their mouth open as I say and reaching for the sun those are the ones that I'm looking for and I'm um, just harvesting those and I'll come back at a later time and get the ones that are small right now but later on they will also be big enough and um, have their mouth open and ready to harvest but yeah just wanted to fill you in on that 
because um, that was a question that I was wondering when I was looking at um, other people's Roselle. I was wondering if it had a pungent smell or, you know, sometimes you want to sit on your porch and smell the aroma of some nice, beautiful plants and bushes. Although this one offers a lot of different benefits for your health and they have a beautiful, I mean, have a lot of medicinal properties, which I will share with you in just a moment. Um, the aroma or the scent is not something that they offer. Um, but I'm going to continue to harvest and I'll be back with you in a moment. Let me also just show how to harvest it. Um, when you are harvesting your roselle, I hope you guys can see this. Um, the sun, let me get out of the way. The stem that's right here, when you harvest, you want to take a pair of pruners or scissors and you want to get right in between the base of the sorrel and the stem of the plant. This is the stem, this is the base of the sorrel. And you want to get let me get it that close as I can get there. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Okay, right there. I keep putting my finger in the way. Okay, you want to get as close as to the base of the sorrel as you can and clip. Okay, you want to be able to leave. Um, see how I left the... Okay, you guys, this sorrel plant is very productive, prolific, whatever you want to call it. Um, the more you clip the calyxes, then the more production you'll get out of your plant. So I'm going to clip, clip, clip away um, the larger size calyxes. And hopefully I can get at least like a two pound bucket today. And I probably could get more, but... I need probably gonna need two hands and one and also the leaves of this plant is also um, edible are also edible um, as you can see they look similar to the leaves on a um, okra plant the beautiful um, flowers that come out in the morning um, they are also um, similar to they, they actually look just like the okra um, flower to me and they are all in the same family. Um, they originated out of West Africa. And um, they are all in the same family. Uh, uh, okra, cotton, and um, roselle. Or sorrel. So that's why they look pretty similar. A lot of people like to eat the leaves in their um, salads. I have not tried that yet. But I think I'm pretty curious. I may try to eat one and see what they taste like. But um, as you see, this plant is just so, so prolific. It's just growing like crazy. The buds um, are popping out everywhere. I was told that if um, you cut the bud, then another one would not grow until you cut the um, existing bud. But as you can see, that's not true <laughs> in this case, because as you can see, this bud here is growing and another one is popping up anyway. You see this little baby one right here is popping up anyway. And it's like that all over this tree. Look at that. It's another one there. There's another one there on the same stem um, popping out. Like they're just all over the place. Same thing here. Like... They're just all over the place. So I don't think it really matters. It's either that or maybe I planted too many. <laughs> like I said, this is my first time growing it. So as you can see, I'm going to step back so you can see. But it is a very big bush. And what I did was just planted one um, packet full of seeds. And I probably shouldn't have planted the whole packet. But... Um, that is a rookie's mistake. Well, I wouldn't call it a mistake because I'm gonna definitely put these um, calyxes to use and um, use as much of the plant as possible. Um, even some of the leaves, the stems, everything on this plant is supposed to be um, used or can be used for something. The stems and the root you can use for medicinal purposes. 
and like I said the calyx um, which is this red part the bud which I'm clipping is also supposed to be um, used medicinally as well for high blood pressure lowering high blood pressure and diabetes and all types of things you can um google that google that yourself or do a little research yourself um, as i'm not claiming to be um, anybody's doctor but the purpose for me growing it was for me to try it um, for my husband's um to lower my husband's blood pressure and also to be able to experience the um jamaican sorrel uh, holiday drink um, and I have never made my own jellies or jams, but I'm told that um, they make beautiful, tasty um, jellies and jams as well. So I'm going to see what all I can do with this plant. I like plants with a lot of variety and medicinal properties, like I said, and this definitely is one. So I highly, 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 highly... <laughs> recommend that if you are not growing Jamaican sorrel in your garden um, then this is definitely one um, to go to um, if especially if you have those um, problems um, health wise and also um, if you're like me and you just like to grow things um, that have a variety of different uses and um, a lot oh, I'm sorry <laughs> they have a lot of different uses and ways that you can use them say I got distracted by this bee right here in my um, bucket I'm just making sure he didn't sting me on my leg I didn't got stung by a wasp um, a couple of times this year I'm not trying to get stung again so anyway I'm sorry for that but um yeah I like to grow plants that have a um, variety of uses medicinally um, and like I said in the kitchen um, and otherwise but um yeah you can look all over the internet and find information on um, Jamaican sorrel and um, ways and recipes, uh, ways to grow, I'm sorry, and recipes and to make your jams and jellies. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to look up one of those recipes because I definitely do not have one myself. But um, I will show you in just a minute how you can um, get the seed from this plant and grow your own Jamaican sorrel. Um, or grow them again if you have grown them one time so you won't have to keep buying the seeds over and over again so uh, let me finish again <laughs> harvesting and I'll be right back with you okay so now on to um, how you get the seed out of your calyx so as you see I have popped a calyx out of this one and this is the bud or the seed pod um, that is actually right in the middle of this um, calyx and I'm going to show you how I did that um, if you look at a lot of videos online um, people have this handy dandy little uh, tool that um, they have that's like hollow um, hollowed out and it's sharp um, so they could just pop it right through well, I don't have one of those, so what I did was I had one of these um, old um, little gardening tools that's supposed to be like, you know, real, the tiny size ones, and the top part broke off, so it's hollowed out, and it's sharp, so I take the um, bottom of the calyx, as you can see right there, and you just take the tool, and you go around kind of in a circle, and twist oh, I'm sorry let me see get my hand out the way you just twist and push twist and push and as you twist and push oop, there you go <laughs> it'll come right through and your seed pod will come straight out like that and you'll have the perfect hole in the center of your calyx and you can freeze it whole like this or you can pull it apart and as you pull it apart like that, then you can freeze it, you can dry it. A lot of people like it dried. I hear that it um, holds on to the flavor even better if it's frozen. So if you have the space, then you can just freeze it in a Ziploc bag and um, use it when you're ready for it. Um, I'm gonna try and boil some of this fresh today and see what, the what it tastes like and then I'll freeze the rest. And as you can see with the seed pod here, if you break it open, you can just twist it, twist it and break it open and the seeds 
are right there in the middle. Hopefully you guys can see that. The little white seeds are right there in the middle. I'll pour them out of my hand so you can see them. Because they come right out. But the little white seeds look just like that. And you dry these seeds and save them for next season. And you'll have your own hibiscus, um, roselle, red roselle, um, Jamaican sorrel seeds of your own. Let me see if I can do that again. Pretty simple without it popping out all over the place. You guys can get a better um, view of what I did here. Okay, so twist and push. Try not to push so hard this time as you see, bam, there you go. Pushed it right up and there's your seed pot. And it was probably smart if I would have wore gloves because um, this stuff is like a dye almost. It's like getting all over my hands as you can see, all over my tool. And if you have white counters, it will stain your countertop. So make sure you use something to cover your countertop and gloves on your hand if you don't want it all over your hand. But that's it. This is all the roselle that I got today. Just wanted to share that with you. Growing your own red roselle, hibiscus, um, <clears throat> Jamaican sorrel. This has been my experience can't wait to hear about yours grow this plant in your garden if you haven't um, grown it before and share the benefits um, with us all you are welcome to come back to my page and leave something in the comments um, I'm sorry to my channel or my um, Facebook group I do have a Facebook group um, it's called Garden Time with Sunshine. If you haven't visited that already, then um, you can go there and drop your stories, your photos, your experiences in your garden. Um, I would love to hear about them. And um, always, as always, you can leave them in the comments here on my channel. Um, I would love to read your comments. And if you have any recipes for jams and jellies um, with the Roselle, um, I would gladly, gladly like to get those as well. So that's it. You guys have a good day and thank you for watching um, me growing my uh, Roselle. I uh, can't wait to try these different recipes. Y'all have a good day. I've been getting tongue tied on a lot of my freaking videos. I don't know what is going on. What is it Chico? What is, what is it Chico? I'm getting all tongue tied on my videos. I'm getting all tongue tied. Huh? Mommy can't talk. Is it you? Is it you? Are you making me getting tongue-tied on my videos? Huh? I say, nope, that doesn't have anything to do with me. <laughs>